The Chaos Community is proud to present its latest release of metric definitions. In this video, we highlight changes and new metrics. For the past three years, the Chaos Project has been defining metrics for use in measuring and tracking open source community health. We have five working groups that focus on different areas of community health. Common metrics across working groups, diversity and inclusion, evolution, risk, and value. All metrics are peer-reviewed and transparently developed through open meetings and documented in a GitHub repository. We also have a 30-day public comment process before each release, and we encourage anyone interested to provide feedback. We assume you're already familiar with the Chaos Project, so we're going to dive right into this new metric release with the version number 2020-08. In this August 2020 release, we have eight new metrics released and three revised metrics, bringing our total number of defined metrics to 46. The metrics are now available on the Chaos website. Go to chaos.community in your favorite browser and click on the Metrics and then Metrics Definitions menu entry. Now let's take a look at the new and changed metrics. The metric Types of Contributions is in our common metric working group and is new. This metric is for you if you want to understand what is happening in your project, not just focus on one aspect like code contributions. Next, we have Time to Close. This metric is for you if you want to understand how quickly your community is resolving operations. This can include issues, pull requests, merge requests, or other operations in your community. This is important because a healthy community tends to be responsive and get stuff done. Next is contributor location. This metric is for you if you want to understand where your community members are physically located across the globe. This is important because a healthy community has to accommodate the different time zones and cultures of its members. Next, we have, from our Diversity and Inclusion Working Group, Inclusive Leadership. This metric examines the makeup and policies around an open source project's leaders or those in roles of influence. This metric is important because leadership often influences a community's culture and sends a message to newcomers about how inclusive it is. Healthy projects will be mindful of the roles leaders play and how they are held accountable for fostering diversity and inclusion within the project. We also have a new focus area within our diversity and inclusion working group called Project and Community. That includes two new metrics for us. The first new metric is Documentation Usability. This metric helps project organizers understand how clear and readable their documentation is. It's important because people of all levels need to be able to understand how to use and contribute to your project. The second new metric under Project and Community is Issue Label Inclusivity. This metric measures how well a project labels issues for a variety of contributors and skill sets. By enabling a more inclusive set of issue labels, a project is more likely to receive clear contributions from a range of contributors. The next new metric is from our Evolution Working Group and is Inactive Contributors. This metric measures the number of contributors that have stopped contributing over a set period of time. Organizers can use this metric to monitor for trends that might indicate if there is an underlying cause for why people are no longer participating. New contributors is the next new metric. This metric helps project organizers understand how many people are making their first contribution to the project. It's important to monitor newcomers to the project to keep the project vibrant and active. A lack of new contributors could mean there are problems with the project that might need to be addressed. That's it for our new metrics. We also have three metrics that have been revised. From the Evolution Group, the Reviews metric was revised. From the Risk Working Group, the Elephant Factor metric was revised. And from the Value Working Group, the Social Currency Metric System was revised. The Value Working Group also restructured into three focus areas, Communal Value, Individual Value, and Organizational Value. And all previously released metrics were assigned to one of the new focus areas. Those are all the changes and additions to this latest August 2020 release. Thank you everyone who has contributed to our metrics. We'd love for you to participate in the Chaos community. We have weekly and bi-weekly calls where we discuss whatever issues are at hand. You should join our mailing list and follow our repos on GitHub. And you can also follow and connect with us on Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. On Fridays, we also release Chaos Cast, which is our podcast around open source metrics. Subscribe on any of your favorite platforms or listen directly from our site. Until next time, your chaos community.